the world of automotive engineering, engine design plays a pivotal role. The engine is, quite literally, the heart of any vehicle. It's the powerhouse that drives us from point A to point B, the mechanical marvel that turns fuel into motion, and the technological masterpiece that allows us to traverse vast distances with the press of a pedal. Engine design is a complex field, marrying the intricacies of physics and engineering with the practicalities of performance and efficiency. It's a delicate balancing act where every decision can have far-reaching implications. The size and type of the engine, the materials used, the fuel delivery system, the cooling mechanism, the exhaust layout, all these factors come together in a symphony of power and performance. Engine design is as much an art as it is a science. It's about understanding the relationship between different components, about knowing how to coax the best performance from each part, about finding the perfect harmony between power, efficiency, and reliability. It's about creating something that is more than the sum of its parts, a mechanical entity that can deliver a driving experience like no other. But engine design isn't just about the here and now, it's also about looking to the future, about anticipating changes in technology and consumer demand, about designing engines that are ready for the challenges of tomorrow. It's an ongoing journey of innovation and evolution, a never-ending quest for perfection. Yet, in this quest, not every step is a leap forward. Mistakes are made, lessons are learned, and designs that seemed promising on paper can fail spectacularly in practice. For every success story, there is a tale of failure, a design that didn't quite live up to expectations, an engine that promised so much yet delivered so little. And so, we find ourselves in the realm of the worst engine designs, the mechanical missteps that have become infamous in the annals of automotive history. These are the engines that have challenged conventions, pushed boundaries, and ultimately fallen short. They are the reminders that even in a field as precise as engine design, things can go wrong. However, not all engine designs hit the mark, and some have been downright disastrous. We kick off our list with the Triumph V8, an engine notorious for its self-destruction. Hailing from the United Kingdom, this engine was a product of ambition, designed to power the Triumph Stag in the early 70s. However, the Triumph V8 was plagued with a critical flaw, inadequate oil flow to the top end of the engine. You see, the engine's design allowed oil to pool in certain spots, starving other areas of lubrication. This led to premature wear, particularly in the camshaft and valves, and ultimately, engine failure. The issue was so prevalent that many owners found themselves replacing the entire engine after a mere few thousand miles. What was designed to be a smooth, powerful engine ended up being a ticking time bomb under the bonnet. A classic case of ambition outpacing execution. A promising design on paper, but a catastrophic failure in practice. Next up, we have the Cadillac Vive 864, a complex disaster that proved too ambitious for its time. This engine was Cadillac's daring attempt to incorporate variable displacement, a technology designed to save fuel by allowing the engine to run on fewer cylinders when full power wasn't needed. While the idea was innovative, the execution was less than perfect. The Cadillac 5864 was plagued with technical issues from the get-go. The computer technology of the early 80s simply wasn't up to the task of managing the complex system. As a result, the engine would often get confused, switching between eight, six, and four-cylinder modes erratically, leading to poor performance and a host of mechanical problems. The engine's downfall was swift. Despite Cadillac's attempts to fix the issues, the damage was done. The V864 earned a reputation for unreliability and was quickly phased out. It stands as a prime example of how over-engineering can lead to failure. Third on our list is the Oldsmobile Diesel, a reliability nightmare that tarnished the reputation of diesel engines in America. Introduced in the late 70s, Oldsmobile aimed to provide an answer to the fuel crisis with its diesel engine, but the result was far from what was anticipated. The Oldsmobile diesel was plagued by countless issues, most of them related to reliability. The engine was notorious for its tendency to fail spectacularly, often causing major damage that required expensive repairs or even a complete replacement. This was due to a combination of poor design and subpar manufacturing quality. 
For instance, the engine block and head were not robust enough to withstand the high compression ratio of a diesel engine. These problems were so widespread and severe that they severely tarnished the reputation of diesel engines in the United States, a stigma that persists to this day. Indeed, the Oldsmobile diesel remains a textbook example of how not to design a diesel engine, a sad chapter in the history of diesel engines. Next, we have the GM 3.6 high feature engine, an oil guzzler that caused many headaches. This engine, hailed as a high feature product, quickly became a high maintenance problem for many car owners. It seemed to have an insatiable thirst for oil, consuming it at an alarming rate. This wasn't just an inconvenience, it was a costly issue. The GM 3.6 engine's high oil consumption often led to premature wear and tear, necessitating expensive repairs. It wasn't uncommon for owners to face hefty bills for engine rebuilds or replacements long before they'd expect to encounter such costs. This is not what you'd anticipate from a high-feature engine, right? The oil guzzling problem was so prevalent that it became almost synonymous with the GM 3.6 high-feature engine. Despite its impressive power and performance on paper, the engine's real-world performance was overshadowed by its oil consumption issue. In the end, it was an oil-thirsty engine that was more trouble than it was worth. Halfway through our list, we encounter the Jaguar V12, an overheating beast that tested the patience of many owners. This engine, born in the heart of the British car industry, was a marvel of design and engineering, but it had a major flaw. It ran hot. Too hot. The Jaguar V12, with its high compression ratio and powerful output, was designed for speed and performance, but the heat it generated was its downfall. The cooling system, though robust in its design, simply couldn't keep up with the heat produced by the engine's 12 cylinders. This led to chronic overheating issues that, if left unchecked, would cause severe damage to the engine. Head gaskets would fail, pistons would seize, and in the worst cases, the engine block itself would crack under the thermal stress. Despite its flaws, the Jaguar V12 has a certain charm, a certain allure that only a Jaguar can have. A beautiful beast, but a beast nonetheless. Next up we have the Mazda Miller Cycle V6, an engine that promised efficiency but delivered disappointment. Mazda's ambitious attempt to reinvent the wheel, or rather the engine, saw the creation of the Miller Cycle V6. The idea was to increase efficiency by compressing the fuel-air mixture in two stages, a concept that was theoretically sound. However, the practical implementation proved to be a different story. The Miller Cycle V6 required a supercharger to force the fuel-air mixture into the engine, which ultimately consumed more power than it saved. Moreover, the complex design of this engine made it difficult and expensive to maintain. It was a classic case of an over-engineered solution to a problem that didn't exist. In the end, the Mazda Miller Cycle V6 became a case study in the pitfalls of prioritizing innovation over practicality. It was a reminder that sometimes, the best solutions are the simplest ones. An engine that promised much but delivered little. The eighth engine on our list is the Cadillac Northstar V8, a leaky disaster that frustrated many owners. This engine, which debuted in the early 90s, was initially celebrated for its impressive performance and advanced technology. However, it wasn't long before the Northstar's shiny reputation began to tarnish. The primary issue was coolant leaks a problem that could lead to severe engine damage if left unchecked. The North Star's design made these leaks particularly difficult to repair, often requiring a complete engine removal. But the coolant leaks were just the beginning of the North Star's problems. The engine also had a notorious tendency for head gasket failure. This, combined with the coolant leaks, could lead to catastrophic engine failure. It's a shame, really. The North Star V8 had so much potential. It was supposed to be Cadillac's shining beacon, leading them into the future. Instead, it turned out to be a leaky disaster, a star that fell too soon. Next, we have the Ford 1.0 liter EcoBoost, a powerless wonder that left many wanting more. This tiny engine, designed for fuel efficiency, was Ford's attempt to squeeze out every last drop of mileage from a gallon of petrol. But in doing so, they forgot one crucial detail, power. The 1.0-liter EcoBoost, despite its impressive fuel economy, was a disappointment when it came to delivering the punch that drivers crave. It was like a sprinter that's all set for the race but falls short just after the starting gun fires. 
The EcoBoost was simply outgunned by its competitors, many of which offered more powerful engines without sacrificing much in terms of fuel efficiency. Moreover, the lack of power became a significant issue when it came to overtaking or driving in hilly areas. Drivers found themselves constantly shifting gears to maintain speed, leading to a less than smooth driving experience. And so, the Ford 1.0 liter EcoBoost serves as a stark reminder in the automotive world, proof that there can be too much of a good thing. The penultimate entry on our list is the Chrysler 2.7 V6, a sludge factory that led to many premature engine failures. Introduced in the late 90s, this power plant was plagued by a crucial flaw its water pump was housed inside the engine block, a design choice that led to significant issues. When the pump failed, which it often did, coolant would leak into the oil, creating a sludge. This sludge was like cholesterol in the arteries of the engine. It blocked oil passages, starving vital components of lubrication. The outcome was catastrophic and often resulted in seized engines. Many a Chrysler owner found themselves facing a hefty repair bill or even a complete engine replacement far sooner than they ever anticipated. In the world of automotive engineering, the Chrysler 2.7 V6 stands as a stark reminder of the consequences of poor design choices. An engine that was more sludge than machine. Last but not least, we have the Ford Triton 5.4, a spark plug ejector that caused more than a few surprises. This engine was renowned for its uncanny ability to turn a mundane drive into an adrenaline-fueled adventure as spark plugs had the tendency to shoot out unexpectedly. The Ford Triton 5.4, a stalwart of the Ford engine lineup, was a ticking time bomb. The threads in the cylinder head that were meant to hold the spark plugs in place were made of aluminum, a material that doesn't quite match up to the pressure and heat generated within the engine. The result? Spark plugs that could, and did, eject mid-drive. This wasn't just a minor inconvenience, mind you. The ejection could cause considerable damage to the engine, not to mention the potential safety risks. Ford's solution, a rather controversial spark plug redesign, an explosive end to our list. That concludes our journey through some of the worst engine designs from renowned automakers. From the self-destroying Triumph V8 to the spark plug ejecting Ford Triton 5.4, we've explored a variety of engine designs that failed to meet expectations despite coming from well-known brands. Each engine was a lesson in what not to do, whether it was a result of over-engineering, poor reliability, or lack of sufficient testing. Let's reflect on the Triumph V8, a prime example of an engine that was over-engineered. Its complexity led to its downfall, with numerous design flaws that caused it to self-destruct. The Cadillac V8642 suffered from overcomplication, with its variable displacement system leading to a host of issues. Reliability was another common theme. The Oldsmobile Diesel and the Chrysler 2.7 V6 were both notorious for their reliability issues, with the former being prone to failure, and the latter infamous as a sludge factory. The GM 3.6 high-feature engine and the Jaguar FUF 12 highlighted the problems that can arise from poor testing. The GM 3.6 was a notorious oil guzzler, while the Jaguar FUF 12 was known to overheat both issues that should have been identified and rectified during testing. The Mazda Miller Cycle V6, Cadillac, Northstar V8, and Ford 1.0 liter EcoBoost were all engines that promised much, but delivered little. The Mazda's complex design failed to deliver on its efficiency promise. The Northstar V8 was plagued by leaks, and the EcoBoost lacked the power its name suggested. Finally, we come to the Ford Triton 5.4, an engine that literally shot itself in the foot by ejecting its own spark plugs. These examples serve as a reminder that even the most reputable automakers can make mistakes. However, each failure is a learning experience, an opportunity to improve and innovate. The automotive industry is constantly evolving, and these missteps play an essential role in driving that evolution. Remember, even the best can make mistakes but it's through these mistakes that we learn and improve. While not every engine from these models was a disaster, these issues were significant enough to earn them a spot on our list. Remember, always research before you buy a used car. Until next time, keep your engines running smoothly. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more intriguing content like this.